Okay, we're here with Prince Charles Martin coming off um, three big wins, spectacular knockout over Jerry Washington. Pandemic kind of um, put things on hold for you, but uh, just let the fans know what Charles Martin has been up to, man. Um, just coming back, man, you know, um, been out here consistent for about a month now, so, you know, um, just getting in the best shape of my life. I'm more focused. Um, and just being consistent. I know that consistency always pays and um, you get your best results from that. So with that being said, man, I'm, I'm in the best shape, you know what I'm saying? I've been in, in a long time and I feel that for this camp, for this fight, it should be my best performance. And yeah, I've always been considered, you know, like a dark horse. Nobody really knew my potential. Nobody really knows my potential but me. But when I'm at my best, only person can beat me is me. So, um, yeah, I'm ready to go out with a bang and um, show these people that I'm one of the greatest of my era. Yeah, so you're ready to jump into that big fight this year. No, you don't want no tune-up, no nothing. You're ready to go. Yeah, absolutely not, man. We we, we going to be working. And um, it's just, it's just you know, with, with my age, you know, and, and, and with my team, you know, my coaches, I'm just starting to soak it all in. And it's all coming together as one right now as far as like just being a more well-rounded and smarter fighter you know what I mean you gotta you gotta know how to pick and choose you know what I'm saying like just with the whole with the whole battle you know what I mean? when you're in the ring you gotta you gotta you gotta know how to think and you, know? you gotta and it's gotta be like reaction time you know what I mean mm -hmm. you, you don't really got time to think but you gotta you just gotta be smart man it's just something to it it's, mm -hmm. it's like a little bit of everything man that it makes the perfect combination the, the, the perfect storm Especially in the heavyweight division, one punch can change can change everything, yeah, man. That's the beauty of it. Yeah. When you know you got that kind of power, when you know you're packing that kind of power, you know you just, you know, you want to harness that and control it and then unleash it when you need to. Yeah, um, speaking of the division, man, um, it, it, it's still on fire right now, even with the pandemic and everything. It looks like Anthony Joshua and um, Tyson Fury are on a clash course towards early this year. Um, keeping your eye on that fight, because obviously those are opponents for you. What do you make of the matchup, man, at this point? Yeah, that, that's that's a damn good, tough fight for um, both both fighters. You know, it's, um, you know, may the best man win, but, you know, um, Fury's looking looking more in my favor because of the box. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? He's, you know, he can go to distance. You know, if, 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 he, if Joshua improves more with his stamina and stuff like that, then, then who knows? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, and, and like we said, it's the heavyweight division, so one punch can change everything. Yeah, um, his performance over Wilder, I don't know if you've been asked for, I know that was a while ago, but how impressive was it to you, man? And it's just Very impressive, very impressive that, that he just took the fight to him, you know? I, I was, nobody was expecting that, you know? And um, yeah, man, he just, he just opened a lot of eyes, you know, and, and let people know that, that he can box and he can fight, you know, he can come forward, you know, and, and get the job done. Mm -hmm. Great performance by Fury. Um, the aftermath has been a little um, sloppy for um, Deontay Wilderman, if you've been keeping up. The latest is the back and forth between him and Mark Brilliant, his former trainer. Yeah. Uh, what do you make of the, of the spill out from that fight for Deontay Wilderman? Um, I, mean, I mean, sometimes guys just can't, you know, blame the team, man. They got to look at themselves, you know, and, and make those changes with, within with yourself before you try and blame other people. So that's all I can say about that. Um, and I hope they, you know, you know, get it together and, and, and put all that stuff to the side. Cause um, yeah, two, it was good, doing two good. good guys, man. Yeah. yeah, they were doing good together. So I just hope they can reconcile and, and, and move forward. Yeah, um, you're working with Manny now. I, I do see that what you're saying that just putting it together all in the fight and in one movement, one instinct, so, uh, so to speak. Yeah. Um, with Manny, do you think Manny's brought that out in you, or what do you absolutely. accredit that to? Absolutely, man, absolutely. Mm. Like, like nobody. I've been with a, with a couple of um, different trainers throughout my career, you know, just because of you know some some difficulties. It, you know, half the time it wasn't even me, you know, but you know they they wanted to move on or whatever the case may have been. Um, but this guy right here is just a whole a whole different animal whole different animal as far as you know with the conditioning to to just just nobody should be working hard as me you know what I mean at, at this point nobody should be working hard as me and nobody should be as sharp as me because this guy is stays on my ass makes sure that I'm doing everything correctly 
and um, it's just a blessing. And I, I've always wanted to work with him since I was an amateur. So, mm-hmm. you know, I've known Manny since since I was an amateur fighter. So um, just when he came to my team, it was like, man, I want to work with him. We, we I, I got to get him right because he was my cut man for for the Kalnaki fight. Mm-hmm. You know, when when my coach dropped out, you know, in the middle of the, of the training camp, mm-hmm. you know, and I had to find somebody just saw on the fly. It was it was very very. You know, upsetting to me, but we still went through with it and we still got it done. But I lost that fight, unfortunately, and he said he took over from there. And then we've been rolling ever since, you know, on, on a win streak, and we're just getting better. Um, what, what what will make sense for a Deontay Wilder man? Just from the outside looking in, um, he's coming off that tough win. Uh, looks like there's a lot of denial and, and soul searching there from his end at the moment. What, what will make sense for him? The headlines are floating out there that you guys are possibly talking. I don't know if you can speak on it, but just what would be, what would make sense for Deontay Wilder um, to get back into the ring? Man? Um, just put all the put all of that that loss and stuff behind him, man. You got you got to move forward. You know that's the only way you can um, you know get, get your strength back. You know get your courage back because he's lacking in a lot of departments right now simply because he hasn't faced the fact that you know. You have to you have to own up to your own mistakes. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he made he made you know mistakes prior to that fight. Is that what you had to do when you had your fight with Anthony Joshua? You had to like just sit back and look at things from yep. from the inside. Yep. And you, you can't blame anybody. You just gotta move forward, man. That for for one thing, and then the fans will always you know the casual fans will love to to keep bringing it back up and mm-hmm. um, making you revisit that that past. Mm-hmm. But you gotta just be strong, man, and just and just push forward. And then that's that's once once you get over that hump, then then it's like it, you're a new man, and you learn more from your losses than your wins. So if given the opportunity to fight Josh again, uh, what 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 things are you gonna change that you can speak about heading well, into a rematch? I'm gonna destroy him? Joshua, man. I'm gonna be. I just all I want to tell Joshua is I never got my fair shake. You know, I don't. I don't. Like I said, I'm, I'm already beyond it. I've moved, I've moved forward from it, but I never got a fair shake. And I just want my fair shake, which is my second my second time with you. I climbed, I, I drug myself all the way up out of the basement just for you. You know what I'm saying? I came all the way from the basement. This, He's the reason that I'm here. I'm gonna knock his ass out. All right, tell the fans where you can follow you on social media. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at the St. Prince Charles. ST Prince Charles, um, Prince Charles Martin Boxing on Instagram and Facebook, Prince Charles Martin. All right, cool. Appreciate you, Charles. Thank you for looking out. Thank you.